What's going on folks? Michael Howard with uh, Cool Stuff with AI. Got a new video for you today about Ideogram 3.0. Again, I'm Michael Howard, founder of uh, Game Games AI, uh, AI entrepreneur, started Paul Word, I've written multiple books with uh, using AI, Tune in a Box, a whole bunch of different stuff. And I consult for large companies about AI. Um, but I, you know, I really tend towards the creative side. So um, Enneagram is uh, something I, I like a lot and I've used for a long time. We've had a release this week of Rev and the new OpenAI models. Uh, but Enneagram, I can't even get in the OpenAI models right now. Um, they're all backed up and Rev is not as good as, as promised. But I use um, Enneagram, you know, because it's so wonderful with text. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is get people to think outside the box in ways that they can use it. So uh, we're developing we're developing a website over for GimGams AI the other day, and we're getting a lot of images that look like this of just you know these generic corporate uh, images. And I'm like, all right, well, shouldn't our site look good? And I'm like, I wish there were better graphics. And I'm like, well, you're kind of an idiot. I'm like, why don't you just go over to to Ideogram here and see what it comes up with? So. Uh, you know, I'm doing stuff as simple as, you know, uh, create a background graphic or photo, photo for transform for transforming AI opportunities. We just okay, we want it to be. This is the other cool thing. So one of the one of the newest features of Ideogram 3.0 is that they've added in a ton of new sizes. Um, they used to be limited to 16 by nine, nine by 16 and one by one. Now you have all these different sizes. So like if I want something really thin, which I, I'm not really sure, I could go back and look, um, but we'll just fire that in there. But we can see over here, so I'm creating a new page about AI book publishing. And I did this where I was like, AI is rocket fuel to book publishing. I mean, it looks, so much better than the original one. I did unlock AI publishing. These are all, I'm just kind of, I just literally am pasting in the the headlines. I'm, I'm not trying to do anything more. Like this was the original page that I was messing with, which was automating social media, which is something we do. Um, and the, the images were awful. And then I just started pasting this stuff in here. And these are all generated with so you can see this one here. I'll, I'll show you some of the examples uh, that I created over in Ideogram. But this is all created with Ideogram. You can see uh, I doubled up the uh, the Instagram logo there. Not so wonderful um, AI-powered posting. I don't think I even got this perfectly right. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to whip through the, uh, the website itself if I can. If I can find it up here. I'll just go to the Gimgams AI. Uh, this is every, pretty much all the images on here have been created using AI at this point. So all these images I made, these are just some companies that we work with. Even this call to action graphic here I created. So let's go back over to Enneagram. So the, the ability to control, it was always good, but the coherence that we're getting um, is even better. Um, let's go up here. We'll go group of excited people uh, uh, looking at tons of books, no text. So, you, you know, to try to generate stuff in there. So we'll peruse through some of the stuff. I've hit. You can see all these different versions here. Um, when I was I, like earlier, I was trying to do, okay, I want to, I have uh, different clients that I work with where it's like, okay, we want to compare our hotel price to your hotel price. And it's like, you know, give me, give me this, give me a graphic. It would be great if they made it so that you could edit the text. I wonder if you could take it into something like, uh, Acrobat and just edit the test. But it, it, so I, I didn't do much. I, I, again, I, if we look at the prompt here. Uh, if I hit the remix button here, you'll see uh, that's that's the prompt that they, they they use. But I was like, a comparison landing page for a hotel booking site. I said, I just, my original prompt was graphic for a website comparing our hotel price to a big brand. So that's all I gave it. And that's what it came up with. So is it amazing? No, but it's better than what 
I, a lot of the stuff is like, could you, okay, so we, we have this here. Um, all right, well, that's the old thing here. Get rid of this. But this is the image we just created. Um, I don't know, standing in a bookstore. Let's change it to a bookstore and we'll just remix that. Uh, but again, I, I, so I'll download this, go back to the page we're doing. Where was the page here? So again, I'm, I'm just trying to show the idea that, you know, this is not an instance where we're, okay. I don't know how to find the, uh, the actual image here. You gotta like it when I'm just bad at stuff. All right, I don't even know if I can, if I can change this image. All right, we'll worry about that later. Um, but if we go over here, uh, you know, I built a page on AI graphic design. That's AI built. I needed something here that, you know, coincided this ad creative at scale, instant logos, brand positioning. That's all this stuff over here. Want to harness AI graphic design. Uh, these are actually all things. I believe everything here, this was kind of created in, uh, ideogram, but everything else here was created in ideogram. It is definitely my go-to. Um, I think that a, a lot of what you see and what's different about this channel, like and subscribe, is that we try to give practical applications. Like some of the stuff I'm showing here is like, this is a, a button for a website. This is our logo. Um, this is again, a, a, an ad that and an ad graphic we use for a company. This is a an album design. This is a package design for a, like a whatnot person. This is Tune in the Box, which is a an AI song, physical AI song where you get a speaker. But um, we have practical applications. Like how many times are you gonna see somebody be like, show me Elon Musk and, and Mark Zuckerberg uh, surfing together. It's like, it's not what you use AI for in the real world, it's fun. Uh, you know, I create stuff of my bulldogs. I own a company called Paul Word where we do that, but you need practical applications. So. Again, this is uh, uh, AI influencer, something else we do. This is all AI generated. This is an AI generated band. We have travel bloggers, uh, in, you know, TikTokers, uh, music producers, all this different stuff is created that way. But let's go back to Ideogram. Let's see what we created here. Um, eh, I didn't really want to go to a bookstore. So we're just gonna, I guess, I, I don't know if we want all right, we're gonna go surrounded by tables. Let's go with tables filled with books. You know, some of this is just uh, uh, kind of letting the AI brainstorm for you. And let's just generate that. And I, I can't even change it, but we'll, we'll see all these other things down here. I'll, I'll just scroll through all the stuff that we've been doing. AI powered posting, um, creating custom, vi you know, visuals, dynamic product showcases. This is, a, a, again, a different page that, uh, I don't think I have it linked up here. Uh, maybe I do. Show social media auto, maybe it's an AI graphic design. No, I think we just did that. Influencers, I think we did social media. Did we do the whole page? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what we're using every one of these graphics. It could be even the main page, to be honest. Uh, go to the home page and see. Not sure. Again, building a lot of different pages. I'll go back in here, um, give you some of this. So these were the, I wanted a graphic to go with the call to action of signing up for free consulting. And uh, let's see if I can get the original uh, prompt. So if I go in here, which I didn't really like was, uh, fun, exciting, uh, show it here for you guys. Uh, a fun, exciting, eye-catching graphic to go along with our contact form, call to action, get started on your AI journey with a picture of a stocky man in his late 30s with a slight beard at the bottom uh, with text, sign up for free consultation now. Um, and then, you know, again, the, 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 the changing in sizing has been a huge help um, because then you don't have to worry about editing. They do have editing in here. Um, I do like this. This is kind of more of what I was going for, even though I don't know how to change the background graphic on that page we were looking at, which is so weird. Uh, is there a, 
Nope. 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 Usually there's something here that says, oh, replace. Uh, but again, I'll, I'll worry about that later. I'm not, uh, not super worried about it. I uh, can even, you know, uh, even this, by the way, this is a, uh, I'm even designing this. I eh, don't have to go into that today, but I'm using AI software to develop the website. So you can be like, all right, improve this writing. I don't like what this, uh, what this is saying here. And I just go, oh, okay, service. All right. We just swapped out the quote. Uh, we'll go back to Indiogram. Um, Here's that thing that I was creating before it gets started on your AI journey. I didn't really love the fact that uh, I wanted this to be bigger at the bottom. Um, and, uh, you know, you can always, we can do that and just do a remix. Oh, I see they have a replace background. Uh, let's see. Huge. Elegant. All right, we'll regenerate this. Sometimes I use the font, but if you remix it exactly, it's going to use this as a basis. But it's it's interesting here that you could just be like replace background. Uh, what do you want to see? Uh, uh, Las Vegas Strip. I don't know if it'll do it, but we'll give it a shot. Haven't seen that. That's definitely new. Uh, so it pulled that out. We'll see if, uh, okay, so this was the new sign up for a free cons consultation now. Uh, definitely got it in a bigger font. Uh, I just just got topped up on my fast credits for uh, some of these, uh, some of these things might only be available uh, if you pay up. I pay the $25 a month on, uh, uh, on Ideogram to, to, get faster stuff and result. They give you free stuff every day. It's definitely worth trying out. I'm just gonna peruse through all this stuff uh, and show you like, these are all the graphics for this. I did a, here's the thumbnail that I was doing creating for, uh, for this video. Here are some like, so I also use Ideogram to create uh, social media advertisements. So this is like deal one of our uh, clients, but let's just say we wanna I don't, I don't know how we're gonna re do this. Th that's not gonna work here. Um, uh, let's see. I don't know, what, what do we wanna do here? Let's see if we, uh, one thing I can also show you is like, if you've never seen Canvas before, it's okay. It's kinda, it's like some of the stuff is getting to be like more of a, uh, an Adobe killer. Like I have to admit, like I'm, uh, I'm not a master. I am a B minus user with, uh, Adobe and uh, let's just go here and we just want to go sunglasses. So I'm, I'm just going in here and just showing you magic fill. Um, so like, you know, I, I, I've used Adobe for years and years and years. Um, and now, but I use it for a lot of this stuff where I'm like, Oh, I want to make this edit here. This doesn't look right. Or these planes don't right, look right. Or um, we'll see what happens when this, when this comes through, it's a 62, 75% complete. So all we're trying to do here is we're trying to just switch sunglasses. This is, uh, I mean, I see that they have text on here. I want to see what we can do with that. See, that did nothing. Uh, and I, I, it's always weird because I, I like, it's supposed to show it in there, but you can see like we got one image that actually of them, but again, did a pretty good job in the one image. You changed it to have sunglasses, but we'll just go back and we'll open this back up in canvas. I want to see what text does. All right. So I'm going to do text is like, uh, free donuts. Is it just legitimately like I'm just writing text on top of here? It's not a, it's not a, what you call it. All right. It's, there's nothing AI about this. So I, I, the only thing it is doing is it's creating layers, which I would be interesting to see if you can create more layers in here. Um, you can also upload images and I think try to make changes to it. Like um, let's try to upload this image of this bulldog here. Um, we're gonna, I mean, you might, I guess you can kind of do layers. Um, and, uh, ooh, and it has style reference. 
style. Huh? Be, let's see. Uh, let's see. Bulldog at seven. Uh, we'll do it at uh, whatever. Uh, target buying notebooks. I have no idea. Again, we're just going to generate this and see what happens. So I guess now you kind of have like kind of a, a style prompt so that it should theoretically take what this looks like and use it other way. The, the amazing part of what's going on, uh, it doesn't, that doesn't look like it's going to be, uh, like it's going to be in the same vein. These all look like pictures. Doesn't look like the same. Uh, we use it as a style reference. And we do, okay, we do a 3D cartoon of, yeah, I mean, maybe I, it probably, but I, I, you know, when I'm thinking style reference, it should get the idea that this is kind of a Pixar type thing. I did do an English Bulldog at Target, uh, but what's the point of a style reference if it's not really going to do much there? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I, and it's definitely a different bulldog. I mean, now we're we're getting into like. <laughs> I mean, I guess we'd have to dis, uh, describe, but yeah, I think it did a pretty good job of this. I just don't know what the difference is. The only thing I would do here is that oh, okay, wh where was my? If I use this as a reference, a prompt, what was the prompt? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, like, that's the part where I'm like, okay, what if we go back into here and we just go into generate, right? Oh, no, I want to go. I just want to go back to the dashboard and just be like, okay, well, what if I do that without that? I guess it's just letting you, like, you know how when it remixes, um, it, it, lets, it basically uses its own image as a style reference. And here, so what I did was I did the exact same thing without the style reference. So, I mean, the these look pretty close to these. We got a few of these. So I think all it does is maybe pick a, a highlight. I mean, some of these are really cool though. I'm just gonna download a few of these. I just wish it would more do the con consistent characters. Again, this isn't really what I use this stuff for. Uh, I use it for like ideating uh, or creating graphics where I don't wanna go into Photoshop or Canva. I mean, listen, I still use Canva, but the Canva template stink. It's like, if we get to a point where I could take some of these and then it would know this is text and make the text editable and like, you know, somehow templatize this, um, that would be crazy. You know what I mean? Where it could like break these, like, oh, the books, you can move the books over here, the rocket over here, and you could change the text. I think we'd be in a, in a pretty amazing place. And I think we are six months away from that. But again, I love Ideogram. Um, I highly recommend using it, especially for text. Uh, the new OpenAI model looks good, but this is tried and true. It's free for, you know, if you want the slow stuff, you only get a certain number of free churns a day. Um, but you can see all the stuff that you can do. I use it to create video thumbnails, to create uh, advertisements. Um, yeah, I'll even use it to like, uh, for like mocking up websites, you can use it for that. This was the very first one where I was like, Hey, create a, um, you know, what was, what was the, uh, original prompt here? I don't know. This is when I changed the logo. I wanted to try to change the logo. Um, but yeah, I think I said create a diagram or something like that. Uh, uh, what was the original prompt? A graphic illustration of a flow chart diagram, automating social media. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. It got, like it did get this one thing wrong here, but it got logos right. It got a bunch of other stuff. I'm not saying this makes a lot of sense, but uh, still it's, it's, it's pretty cool and it will save you just tons of time. So again, I'm Michael Howard for Cool Stuff with AI where we do practical stuff. Really appreciate it. If you'd like or subscribe, definitely subscribe and uh, we'll have more videos coming.